Hello there, and welcome to some Crusader Kings 2 of the Game of Thrones mods. Now I'm going to be playing in the Feast for Crows bookmark, and it's a campaign I have done before, and that is of Jon Snow. It's been quite a while though, and the game does keep changing, and there are many, many more mods, uh, sub mods, available to uh, change the gameplay. And so we will be starting a campaign here with uh, my rules, which are these ones here, if you do wish to uh, take a quick look. And uh, yeah, we'll get straight to it. So my plan here is to go with Stannis, the uh, most obvious choice which was not taken in the uh, novels. Uh, John did not want to liberate the north and uh, he wanted to stay up north and go for his vows and such. We'll see exactly uh, how this is all going to go. First off, we, uh, we are 17 years old, we are pretty good skill, uh, personal combat skill it is, with uh, level 95 there. Skilled fighter, we're just, brave, authoritative, honourable, proud, wildling sympathiser, diligent, kind, you know, Superman, basically. And, uh, yeah, we are a skin changer, able to wear the skin of another with ease. Perhaps I should seek out others like me with similar gifts to learn from them how to better use the magics of the old gods. Um, I... I don't see the point. I'm quite a, uh, I'm not an intriguey sort of man, so we will not see the point there. But let's just choose the ambition here. We would like to, um, let's go with obtaining a greater throne for a start, and then we will uh, take the focus here of, we are at war. We're in a time of war. We're not at war right this second, but we are in a time of war, so I think the focus will be wise to be War. Lord Commander John engages in all things martial, from melee training to reading the works of ancient generals. This focus unlocks the dual action versus rivals and foes. Excellent. Uh, let's uh, start off with the game here and see exactly what will occur, but first... No, 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 not first. Let's see uh, where our options are first. Excellent. The Magnar of Fen, after being allowed to pass through the wall with his defeated people, has declared for our cause. Thank you, good sir. And I am a sworn brother in the Night's Watch. I pledge my life in order to Night's Watch. Well, let's not get too ahead of ourselves here with this. Losing the claim on the King of the North. My brother Rob and his fellow Northmen were outrageously murdered by the Freys at the Red Wedding. With the help of the Lannisters. This is despite having guest rights. After all, they have done to my family. They have brought the scorn and disgust of House Stark and the entire North upon the Lannisters. Exit will uh, enter a blood feud there. And the Northman remembers my mother, uh, my brother Rob, and his fellow Northman are murdered by the phrase. Uh, the exact same thing here. We will uh, remember. Excellent, Lord Commander John. I declare that my brother Robert's left no true born issue of his body. The boy Joffrey, the boy Tommen, and the girl Marcella being abominations of incest between Sir St. Lannister and Sir Jaime the Kingslayer. By right of birth and blood, I do lay claim to the Iron Throne. Let all true men declare their loyalty. Signed, Stannis of House Baratheon. The first of his name, give the Andals, the Rhinor, and the First Men, and Lord of Seven Kingdoms. Of course, I should have known. Uh, we are John after all, I'm sure we subscribe to his ideology here. I have a new heir, and that is Lady Arya of Winterfell. Oh, a sister, of course, because I definitely have a surviving relative. She's married to Lord Ramsay Bolton. I'm sure you would have known that, however. He's a rival. We could try and uh, duel him, perhaps, later. He's not the best of fighter, but he's at least half decent. Now we have 1,000 men here under the uh, control of our forces. Now a few thousand can be rose up. A lot more than the, was it 300 in the in the show that they were able to muster? Something like that. Also we now have the uh, West Watch. Excellent. Shadow Tower, West Watch, which is my personal domain here. We've got uh, Castle Black, we've got East Watch. Of course Brandon's Gift and the New Gift are there as well. Successor nomination, let's uh, go ahead and vote here. Um, Davos, Otil, Edison Tollet, of course. Uh, who else would it ever be? Gerard, uh, Gerard Tuttle? No, not exactly. Samuel Tarly. I think I knew who I'm voting for. We're going to vote for Samuel Tarly, and I hope that uh, the other voters go along with us here. I doubt it, though. Samuel is not the uh, best man for the job, but uh, first Stuart Bowen is... 
Doing very well there. The wall is mine. With the aid of Stannis Baratheon, we have repelled the wildlings, and now I have been chosen by my brothers as the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. Stannis' struggle for the Iron Throne continues, however, and he proposes that I be his Lord of Winterfell. We can say no that I swore an oath, or we can go with this. Yes, this is what I always wanted. We'll lose the trait Black Brother, we'll lose the trait Bastard, we'll gain the trait Legitimized Bastard. And uh, we become a full member of the Stark family. Excellent. We'll no longer be known as Snow. We'll lose piety, but that's that's fine. And uh, Stannis will become my new liege. Yes, this is what I always wanted. Excellent. As part of his grace's offer to me, Stannis has offered me the hand of Lady Val, the wildling princess. By marriage, she's the most beautiful woman and resourceful as well. She's uh, She's a good fighter and she likes me. And we will go with uh, marrying Val here. She'll become of the old gods and she'll marry Lord John of the North. Is she not uh, related to somebody relevant here? Yes, she is Mance Raider's sister-in-law. Uh, she'll make a fine lady of Winterfell. Excellent. So we are now a uh, somewhat of a nomad. We, we have a title that is the North. Not exactly sure what it is. Uh, I fight for Stannis, but I don't appear to be in his war. Let's go and join the uh, Claim the North war. Excellent. Uh, we do need a uh, cancel now. We have a few friends. Let's see if there's anybody else who would be willing to join us. We'll search all with joint court. Let's start, start with uh, my culture group. I think that might include wildlings. Uh, no, but escaped slaves and such. Right, let's see who's an option here. Moore's Umber. There are Umbers here willing to join us. We'll go ahead and uh, invite them over to join us. The Umbers are just a bit south to us. Grunt, an Orphman of no renown. Any good diplomats? There's a Cregan. Edara Karstark. Edard Moss. We'll invite you over. You could uh, be useful of a man. Cregan, he's a good Northman who invites him over. He's from the Dreadfords. No, we will not. We will not fall for such a trick. A couple of cast dark ladies, but uh, we don't need ladies in our courts. Although Adara is very good at her job. We'll uh, get her involved. Any... Yes, that's Adara again. A former Sovereign, Jane. She's an attractive lady. And she has a bastard daughter. Will her daughter come over and join us? She will. Well, will invite the uh, family here over to join us. Anybody good at Intrigue? There is a slave. That's no good. There is a uh, Harwood here. He's relatively okay at Intrigue. We'll invite him over. And any Lerdman is a Daemon here. We'll invite him over just to make up the numbers. Excellent. We now have some friends who will uh, no doubt be very useful. Bodyguards. Is anybody here? My wife is relatively good. We'll uh, choose her. Halgor, the Lord of Bones. And Halleck, Dog's Head, to be our bodyguards. Excellent. You died in battle against Stannis. Well, I'm not surprised. That was quite a uh, battle there. Stannis would like to uh, offer me a position of commander. I will decline. I'd much rather be in charge of my own forces here. It is all one stack, and I do not have any other men to raise. There are potential mercenaries. Oh, only ships. I can't get any actual uh, mercenaries here. To the proud noble John, peace be with you, I will accept your invitation. Excellent. Same with uh, Lady Marna Snow here. I'm running forth to see my father and brothers avenged, and many men are inspired by my cause. Many of my sworn brothers have sworn allegiance to me. Even bands of wildlings have vowed to slay my enemies. Winter is coming. We have some uh, good chaps here. Some soldiers and some... Uh, characters here, so we don't want to be stuck on this spot. What we should do is get out of here immediately to somewhere where we don't suffer attrition. Down towards Pine's End would be a great spot. Or even just off of Castle Black. So we're going to get uh, down there as soon as we can. I'll wait for all eligible uh, invited characters to arrive before we start going about uh, giving them away positions here. Jane has joined us, very good. Hawes, Bane, and Crowfood have both joined us. Damon has joined us. Harwood has joined us. Stannis uh, has accepted our offer of assistance in his war. Very good. 
I believe that was everyone. So let's go through our council positions now. Let's start off actually with minor titles. Bodyguards, do we have people who are good? Yes, we do. Moors, Umber, of course, you are only uh, level 50 actually. Then there is a Grim here. Grim is quite good. But we uh, are more concerned about our commanders. Let's go for the best people we have available. Moors. There is a Rob here who's actually got the trait we are after. The very fast move one. And Grim. Let's then go for a Castellan. Looks like Rob here is the best man for the job, but he is currently busy. Although we don't have any titles uh, to look after, so we'll just give him the job anyway. Val to be the uh, Justice Sir. I'm, I still don't know how to pronounce this word. Uh, Marshal Tom, so we'll give that to, uh, to Moors. I still want you to be a Commander Moors. Oh, I cannot do that. Okay, so we will ignore the uh, other things. Halek, you are now a Commander. A Lord Treasurer. Halgor is the best man for that job. And we will uh, we'll give it to him, I suppose. No, we'll give it to Alan. No, he's a deceitful guy, but he'll deceitful as well. I want a deceitful man in charge of my finances. We'll go for Raymond. And for a spy master, we'll go for Alan. Who is deceitful? That's a good position for a deceitful man. We'll have him build a spy network over at Winterfell. A maester we do not have, and a priest we do not have. Alright, so. Improved diplomatic relations with somebody neutral. If there is anybody neutral, I'm not sure. Let's go down to White Harbour. See if we can get them on our side, Lady Val. You are a worldling, so perhaps it's not the best person to send, but I'm sure we'll get through it. A cupbearer is also potentially good to keep us alive. We'll give uh, Raymond that position, and everywhere else we will leave for now. Adopt a doubled sigil. Which sigil would that be? As a Stark of Winterfell, I proudly bear the running die with my sigil. But I couldn't emphasize my position as a second son by adopting a personal sigil of my own. A pair of running die walls. On white. Should I accept this? Yes, I will. Uh, where is this personal sigil? Do I have to zoom out and in again for it? No, it is still a uh, running. Slightly different. Excellent. Let's uh, mark all of our family members as special interest here. Oh, can I not do it to... Uh, supposedly dead ones. No, no, I can't. Okay, well, we would like Stannis to be marked here, so we'll go ahead and take that. Right, the Bolton forces are very spread out here. He supposedly has 16,000, but I do not see them at all. Also, what is wrong with his face? He's just a bit cut up. He's severely injured, uh, disfigured. You are in Winterfell. We should maybe try and secure that, but it's very hard to take it. I think you would be in a much better spot. Although, again, you're very hard to take. Let's go after the Dread Force. Greywater Watch. If we go down this way, are we going to suffer from attrition? It does appear so eventually. Okay, what if we went down this way? If we went down this way, we would not. Okay, excellent. Well, we'll start marching. We'll take uh, Moore's Amber on one flank, myself on the other, because we would like to have Rob here lead the centre. I will take my uh, other Northern company on this other flank, please, and we will be on our way. Excellent. I myself, am I? I'm a defender and uh, inspiring leader. Yes, if I get the words out correctly. Excellent. Well, let's be on our way and let's try and deal with these forces. There are quite a lot of Northmen on our side. We should be able to take care of these fellows here. If we could just uh, catch Ruse Bolt and get him over and done with that would be terrific. I would greatly appreciate the ability to do so. But now my, uh, my first target is to march on this area here. What? Ravenhelm? Where do you get a Ravenhelm? Does it say original owner? Mance Raider. Oh. Ah. Septon Bar was beheaded. I'm... Uh, I'm worried about your health, Mance Raider. No, he's still in jail. Okay. Perhaps a plot to rescue him, but we wouldn't do such a thing. No. Excellent. 
Well, let's continue our march down south and try to uh, attack these Bolton forces. Looks like uh, even the High Tower, not High Towers, High Points, uh, the House of Whitehill has joined us. That's very surprising. I would not have expected them to have been on our side. But no, apparently I get attrition here, probably due to the. Uh, oh! Ramsey is now in charge. Ruse Bolton died succumbing to his injuries. Okay, is there any way we can get this war over sooner? There is! Let's try and get rid of Ramsey the easy way. We're not an intriguey sort, but uh, we do have a deceitful spy master here who's quite a craven, so we can listen to his counsel. I'm sure he'd be well up for something like this. Now let's see exactly how easy it is to go through with. Excellent. Sans Baratheon has had a loot because Mance Raider is now dead. I wouldn't mind saving his son though. Could I have his son perhaps, Stannis? And a patched cloak added to his treasury. Well, there you go, Stannis. Congratulations, you have some new toys, Stannis. And you are suffering... Causing me to suffer attrition, Stannis. Please. Please, Stannis, don't. A number of your ancestors acquired reputations for piety, conviction and religious belief. Should you follow in their example? Uh, zealot, monthly piety, martial, uh, opposite faith. Ah. Yeah, it's only going to upset people from a foreign religion now, otherwise we lose piety. We're going to become a zealot. We are currently in a war for human life against a, uh, a blue, white, icy demon to the north. So I think becoming a zealot is very understandable at the moment for John. Uh, up to 196. Uh, ooh. How much is it to pay you off? Quite a bit. But we will try and reason with Lord Roos here of uh, Winterfell, who will not be holding Winterfell if we get our way. I will not be leading from the Dreadfort. But Ramsay has given away the land. We now have over 200% plot power here. And my Marshal Times Moore's Umber, the crow food, is uh, desiring to get married. We will find him somebody nice. He's 72. Let's arrange him a wife with, uh, oh, with the old Karstark lady. Sure. Is that not a good match? They're both relatively older. There's a huge age gap still. Uh, shame about uh, your sons, Moors. They're both good fighters, but war does not discriminate. Idle council members still will just have to go ahead with ignoring that and hope that we are able to kidnap, kidnap the Lord Bolton here. Rickon Stark was long thought to have been murdered by Fionn Greyjoy, but Stannis Baratheon and Lord Manderley claim to have found him, rescued by a smuggler, Davos Seaworth. They now name him as heir to Jon Stark. Excellent, Rickon, my boy. Welcome aboard. Any sort of betrayal we can do here? No, we only have older ladies. This will surely aid our cause. Thank you, Sir Davos. Thank you very much. I will continue the siege here in case this does not go through. It seems that Timon, the spymaster of Lord Lester of Crow's Nest, has been sent to Crow's Nest to investigate rumors of plot. Maybe he should be silenced. I don't have any other option here. And Sir Timon has discovered my plot. I, I'm not sure if House Morrigan is terribly relevant at the moment. We are, however, going to suffer some strong attrition here, unfortunately. And why have we gone uh, so far down? Is it because the Mandalese left? Is that why? Oh, that is a big army over there. Uh, Stannis again offers me a position. I will not take it. I'd rather be with my own forces. Do we have a siege leader, perhaps? We do. Barak. We're going to switch uh, him with Rob then and hope that we are able to get through this siege. But we've lost a lot of people to attrition. I'm not too chuffed about that at all. But we have two 10k stacks in the north. If not a, f a third, but no, he is going south, of course. And over here you have the uh, Boltons with only one 10k stack, so we should be able to win this war. If we could take this capital, that would be a great boon towards it. But what we really need is uh, is this guy in chains, ready to be forced to surrender. Um, Stannis uh, would like to offer me the position of Justiciar. 
I will decline. I'm currently busy. I'm currently busy trying to take the Dreadfort. I cannot be going and doing matters of state at the moment. But the Dreadfort... The Dreadfort has... Has been taken. There is, however, no real value here. That will help us a lot with the attrition in the surrounding area. Or will it? That's actually lower than it was before. If that army comes over here, we're going to have to storm it. They have. Yes, because Witch is going to suffer the attrition here. It's really deadly. Lucas Corbray has been killed. That's not too relevant to me, but uh, thank you for the updates. And a new trial in Sunspear, leading to the death of Sir Joss Hood. I cannot say I am sad of that. Ah, it appears Stannis has been defeated. We now have our own war against the uh, the Boltons here. Our new war. Well, very good. Hopefully we can uh, do well and complete it without the aid of Stannis, unfortunately. Thank you for watching this first episode. If you uh, are enjoying the content, leave a like and let me know in the comment section if you have any ideas or thoughts about the campaign or any future campaigns let me know there as well and uh, yeah if you want to support the channel even further there is a discord link down below very uh, very handy place to come and hang out and there is also a patreon link any uh, bit of support towards the channel goes a great way but i'll do for this first episode thank you again for watching i'll see you guys next time goodbye